Hey everyone, I am really pleased to introduce to you Colin Smith. If you don't know Colin, you need to go check out Photoshop Cafe and check out what he does. He's amazing uh, and incredible compositor, incredible at a lot of different things, speaks all over the country and the world. So um, over to you, Colin, just uh, share a little bit about yourself. Thanks, Karen. Hey, everybody. Nice to meet you. Um... I'm Colin Smith, and I started Photoshop Cafe about the year 2000, and uh, just as a place to start sharing some uh, tutorials and stuff, and at the time I was working as a professional designer and then kind of moved into photography. Photography? <laughs> <laughs> photography. I've been kind of doing photography for years, but then started doing more um, photography and kind of combining that with my compositing and Photoshop work and 3D and design and kind of which match of everything. Uh, just basically, I like to make pretty pictures. <laughs> That's what I tell people I do. Um, and right now, I'm having a lot of fun with drones and things like that. But um, my passion is Photoshop and Lightroom, and I've been using that intensely for the last uh, four years. And I want to admit, um, just finished my 20th book um, last year. And uh, so Photoshop Cafe, I have a bunch of free resources on there where you can go and see a lot, a lot of different tutorials and I'll show you guys how to do different things. But, um, you know, my main emphasis really is about being an artist more than a technician. So um, I, I like to be creative and I'm happy to approach it more from the creative side than the technical side, even though, you know, I know enough you know, of the technical stuff to be able to answer people's questions, but that's not where my passion is. <laughs> So anyway, awesome. moving on. So yeah. we're gonna have pictures, or yeah. So let's let's have a look at the amazing entries. So basically, the rules of this competition for Feb were to use the atmosphere overlay that I provided. So and integrate it into any picture. So any composite that everyone created. So they've done some amazing work. Uh, it will be very hard for you to choose, I'm sure. But basically, the first prize uh, winner will get the full uh, Atmosphere Super Pack and can use that. And I look forward to seeing some amazing creative work from that. And the runners up, two runners up, will get the uh, the Dust Particles uh, Pack. So that is one of the the dust particles is the one that I've provided for the competition so uh, yeah so Colin just share with us I guess starting from who comes third second and then first prize all right so here we are in bridge right now and these are the entries um, and first of all I gotta say I'm really impressed with the quality of the entries these are these are really nice there's none here that I don't like um, which makes it even harder because there's so many of these I like. <laughs> so this entry here, I really like this. This is cool. It has a very kind of Beauty and the Beast after, you know, the Beast has become the Handsome Prince kind of thing. Um, it's nice. I like I like the colors here. Um, I like the mood. It definitely has a really nice, strong emotion. Nice job with the sparkles and things. Um, where it could have done a little better is I think with the retouching on the faces. I feel like um, maybe just a little bit heavy on the blur and stuff, so maybe back off on that a little bit um, would have made it better. Also, I feel like the contrast is a little higher on the people than the background, but still, it's a very, very nice piece. Um, this one here, let me zoom in on this. I really love the way the water is done in the basket. This is very kind of, this has a really kind of cool feel to it, you know, the makeup and, the, and everything is really nice, and I like the way, you know, this little glowing inside the the uh, kettle pot. Um, it's nice. It's a very whimsical kind of nice, nice emotion. There. It's cool. Um, yes, yeah, it's just beautiful. Like with the horses, you know, it's very classic um, beauty. And I like the way you've used the particles here to kick up the dust as the horses are going by. A little bit of texture going on there in the background. It's cool. This one's nice, kind of like, um, you know, she's looking into the stars, she's dreaming, she's imagining, maybe making a wish. This is kind of nicely done. I like the sky. Um, and it looks like maybe there's some kind of an effect going on here on the bottom. I can kind of see where it kind of does tie here into the background. Um, but the sky feels a little bit smooth compared to the texture in the foreground. So maybe that might have just tied it together a little bit better. Um, this is real fun. <laughs> Get the fairy going on. It's cute. 
um, you know, like the miniaturization. Um, one of the things that's really hard to do is, um, you know, when you're compositing and matching, if you'll notice here, there's a very shallow depth of field going on, you know, because it's probably macro photography here with the toadstool. And with her, she's completely in focus. So your focal plane is not quite matching. Um, so when you're doing something like this to maybe blur the feet a little bit at the front and maybe put a little blur in the wings to simulate that same depth of field, then it would, then it would make it more believable and would sell it. Um, it's, this is just my opinion, of course. <laughs> These are <laughs> lovely. Awesome. This is very cute. This has like a really nice kind of jungle book feel to it. You got the, the kid there lying on the bear. Nice job here compositing into the fur, you know making him fit in there and getting his arms into the fur. It's really nicely done. And I like the colors. This one here, I really like this. It's, it's funny. It's uh, great humor here. You know, the dog jumping up and grabbing the Frisbee, but also jumping across <laughs> this big chasm. And it's so dramatic for, um, you know, for this dog. It's, it's, you know, look at the look on his face. <laughs> I find this one really humorous. Um, Giggle. And also the quality is nice. Everything is nice and sharp and crisp and good quality here. Um, this one's nice. You know, the unicorn, the horse, you know, in the, in the uh, forest there. Let me have a little look here. You know, it's just nice. You know, it's very dreamy, very fantasy kind of. Um, nice nice concept, nice light rays and things here. That's, that's good. Uh, this one here, I think it's really nice. Um, I, I think this is really, I love the drama in this. I love the um, the contrast. It's like very moody. Um, however, there's one thing is like, it looks like you flip the train around, but didn't change the, the lettering. So when you um, flip things to, you know, create a bit of composition, you know, pay attention to these kind of things. I used to do um, this for Toyo tires um, and I would flip things around a lot. But when I would do that, I'd, make sure that the areas of the vehicle that have any writing or anything, you've got to flip those around too. Otherwise it um, looks like you're looking into a mirror. Um, but I just love that the lighting here, I love this glow around and just um, has a really great feel to it. Really nice piece. And this one's fun. It's, um, you know, it's, it's kind of humorous. Um, so, you, you know, you got the kids out here walking along with the animals. It's, it's fun, you know, just really nicely, uh, nicely done. Good idea. Um, it's kind of cool. All right, moving on here. This one here, I really like this one. Has a really kind of cool mood to it. Kind of has that avatar kind of jungle, but I like the way these light streaks and stuff are going down. And, and it's very moody. It tells a nice story. Um, well done. This one here, I, I really dig this. You know, it's the Breaking Bad, you know, and his Walter and uh, and his buddy. What's his What's his buddy's name on there? Um, Jake, is it Jake? I'm not sure. Oh, right. <laughs> I can't actually even tell who the characters are because when I first saw it, I just I, I saw oh the cat, and then I saw the uh, the camper van outside, and then you got the crystal there, and then, <laughs> so you got these uh, gangster cats, or you know, um, Breaking Bad, really nicely done. It's fun. Um, I even like the way you did the, uh, the displacement, not displacement, what do you call it, not the distortion, the... Uh, See, seeing through to the cat? Yeah, yeah, when it. you look through the glass here, you've yeah. got the, um, you know, I forget the, the word for it, uh, displacement kind of thing going on. It's not displacement, but the word escapes me. Um, but anyway, so this is nicely done. I like I like the way, you know, you kind of composite these into the environment. Um, and it looks it looks cool. It's a great idea. And oh look, we've got the chicken. Look, this is from the chicken place on Bread. <laughs> See, I don't watch it, so I'm, I missed all those little bits. But <laughs> I never watched it. Um, and literally just last week, I started watching it on yeah. Netflix. Started binging on it. So <laughs> if I missed a couple of weeks ago, I wouldn't have known. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah, great. It's it's really clever. I like it. And it's nicely done. This one here, I really like. Um, I guess it's a, is that a swing she's on? Mm, looks like it. I like the lighting though. The lighting just is really nice. You know, where the light lighting is kind of coming in here, hitting the train tracks. And, um, I like the colors, like the blue is really nice use of blue, but the contrasting colors here are the complementary colors in, in the face. That one 
pardon me, really stands out. Um, this one here is cute. You know, we've got the uh, you know the kids here in the in the uh, forest, and we get the butterflies and stuff in the background. It's nice, very kind of dreamy um, and fun. Looks kind of cool. Nicely done. Um, this one here is this one here is really cool. There's a lot going on here. Um, this is a really interesting dress. It must be really hard to walk in that. <laughs> um, you know, and we've got fairies, and we've got you know, you know, it's it's really cool with the different animals and the lighting kind of coming through. You know, the we've got the sunshine coming down from the top. I'm trying to point, but I my cursor there it is, wherever it is, <laughs> is coming down and and hitting everything. I'm just like. I guess, you know, I'm just kind of like, because I'm looking at her and the way the light is falling on her versus the elephant, it makes me wonder maybe it should be maybe more light on the elephant, and maybe a little more shade on her. Um, but I guess it just depends where the light's coming through from the trees. But this is a really nice composite. You know, all the animals and everything are really nicely done and they look like they belong in the picture. I like the owl flying and everything. And the way she caught the lighting there was really nice. Um, so that's that's a good one. Uh, let me go here. This one here, I giggled. I actually really dig this. It's like kids doing Mad Max. <laughs> <laughs> and you've got, like guitar guy going on and the different characters from Mad Max. This is this is really cool. And especially like, these kids, like so cute, you know, with their little uh, Mad Max vehicles and stuff. That's that's really cool. Uh, looks like they're having a lot of fun, and I'm sure you had a lot of fun doing that piece. <laughs> Um, this one here is nice, very peaceful, very painterly kind of looking. You got the little boy fishing, and very kind of Tom Sawyer kind of style there. It's nice, well done. And this one here, um, I really love this. There's a lot going on here. Um, the colors, you know, first is I think what strikes you. And then the other thing that I like, and this is what I look for a lot in composites, and this does a really good job, is the details are here. You haven't lost any of the details. Because um, what happens a lot of the time, you know, when people are compositing is they bring a piece in and it's very easy to kind of place everything and then you start noodling, you know. You, oh, you make it a little bigger, you make it a little smaller. Oh, you know, and then, you know, by the time you finish noodling, it's really easy to lose a lot of uh, image resolution and quality. Um, you know, one of the keys to that, of course, is, is carrying noses to, you know, your smart objects and stuff like that when you're noodling around the sizes so you don't lose quality. But I'm looking at this, just everything is crisp. Everything is clean. Everything is the right resolution. One of the things people do sometimes too when they're compositing is they take something that's too small and try to make it too big. And um, and so I really love this. This is one of my favorite pieces um, because of the lighting. Look at this caustics and stuff going on here. But also just the quality. It's crisp and sharp across the board, and she's maintained that quality. Or he's maintained the quality. I don't know who did. I don't know why. I'm assuming – a woman did it. Um, maybe uh, just the, yeah. you'd be right. <laughs> the colors, you know, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, um, really nice piece, and uh, and this one here too. I love this a lot. So cool. um, this is just really cool. It has a real kind of artistic uh, quality to it. You know, very kind of painterly and really nice use use of the particles here. You know, the dust and stuff in the background, and I'm assuming this is the rabbit from. Alice in Wonderland, if not, it's 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 a cool rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, and this one here is really nice. I like the way the speckles here from the snow are kind of going in with her freckles. Um, so it kind of creates a really kind of a cool textural piece on this. I see like a lot of texture and stuff like that. Um, I would have liked to have seen these flowers in the hair done a little better because to me they kind of look a little bit flat. Um, maybe a little dodging and burning might have given them a bit more depth, but overall, you know, it's it's a nice piece um, as well. So, and then back to the beginning. So these are the pieces. Let me go to the grid. So this is really really hard for me to um, decide. Um, for you know, we talk about like the, this. Talk about the third place. I have. I, I don't know. I've got like several here that I'm – I'd say it's between this one. I really like the dog 
And I like the story too. So I'm also looking for some story in here. This one's just really clever and, and nicely done too. Um, I would have picked the train as one, but with the things being flipped around, I, you know, still a beautiful piece, but, um, you know, the other ones are going to have to win out because of that. Um, these, these are my favorites as far as we're talking right now. Um, third place. Ah, it's so hard. Um, <laughs> I think I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with this one. I think because of the quality is just, it's clever. Like the storytelling in here is clever. There's so many little pieces in there that, that I like, you know, that are just telling a really great story and, and just little things in it. And to actually look at the cats and know which characters they're representing, I think that's really quite clever. So <laughs> I, I would go and give this one, I'm going to give this one a third place. All right. Do you want me to say who that is? So I'm just going to scroll yes. and find whose that was. It is Diana London. Well done, Diana. Third place. All right. Nice piece there. Um, really clever. Good storytelling. And I think for second place here, I'm going to go with this rabbit. I just think this is just got, this is something that could be in a, a children's book. It's just so nicely done. Um, the quality here is, is, is really beautiful. Um, so, yeah, and the style is just incredible. I'm actually, you know, and when I say, you know, second place, this is, uh, you know, it's so close to being first place. Like the, the gap is so tiny. I mean, yeah. cause it's such a beautiful piece, but, um, I have to pick something yeah. a second. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, that one is Tracy Collins. The, now I'm going to get the last name wrong, Thea Nissen. Uh, but yeah, well done, Tracy, on second place. Well done. Oh. I love it. And then probably you probably guess what my favorite one is first place. I'm going to have to give to this just because of the quality, the coloring, the composition, um, the storytelling. There's a lot of work, a lot going on here. But it just really sells it to me. When I look at this, I see this. Um, uh, you know, this world that she's created and it's, it's very believable and beautiful. So it's, it's a great piece. Yeah. So Irene Jones, well done on first place. It's a beautiful, beautiful piece and um, congratulations. Awesome work. Well, thank you so much, Colin, for, uh, I know that was a really hard job uh, and I'm glad that you had to do it and I didn't because <laughs> it's very hard to choose awesome pieces and yeah I hope you guys all got uh, a lot out of that Colin just um, shared a lot of feedback which was fantastic and I'm sure that it will help in your compositing and make sure you guys check out Photoshop Cafe as well there is also uh, a video up there or a, a um, tutorial that I've created too so uh, you can check that out and you can purchase that as well but yeah go and check out Photoshop Cafe and follow Colin's work and um, yeah thank you so much for your time time Colin really appreciate it all right thanks Karen it was once again it's great to collaborate with you and thanks for the opportunity to to judge these pieces and guys I just want to say you know if you didn't get picked it was not because your work wasn't good because all the work here is just really good I'm very impressed with with all of the entries yeah awesome thank you